Hi everyone, it's me again. Today I'm going to be putting together the Ploopy Nano Trackball Kit. Uh, it's a little more straightforward than the uh, headphones I built last time, but uh, I'm sure it will be very fun. So let's get started. Before you do anything, read this first. Do not flash new firmware until you've verified the electronics are all working. So plug it in, make sure it works, make sure you can enter bootloader, and then start messing around with your firmware. Step one, let's get the necessary tools. First, we'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a soldering iron, and some solder. Step two is to remove support material from 3D printed parts. So have a look at the parts you've received. See if there's any uh, little threads or little bits that don't look like they belong there and uh, just clean those up a little bit. Step three is to solder the ADNS 5050 sensor to the PCB. Make sure it's oriented correctly before you solder it. It's really easy to mess up. There are two little dots on one corner. This denotes pin one. So right here, you see there's two little dots. Those line up with the number one on the PCB. Here you can see the two dots right next to the number one. Just as a reference point, it also says A5050 right there on the opposite side of the two dots. So once you're completely sure you've got the sensor in the correct orientation, flip it around and solder those joints. So I'm making sure it's sitting completely flat here. And just as a reference, my soldering iron set to 390 degrees Celsius. So at this point, it's a good idea to inspect your solder joints. And again, you can have a look, see if it's sitting completely flush with the board, see if there's any gaps there. Next step, you're going to want to remove this captain tab from the uh, sensor. I would suggest to use a pair of tweezers for this step. Step five is to place this aluminum tape onto the base. So basically it lines up like right where this part slides down, it sort of meets the corner of the, uh, of the tape. Step six is to place the PCB with the sensor into the base. So you see there's a little hole here? That goes right there. So as I'm putting it in, I've noticed this USB connector sort of gets caught on the edge. So you sort of have to put a USB side in first, and then it just falls right in like that. Step seven is to insert the sensor optic into the top. So you just put it down into there. So right now it's sitting in there just loosely. Okay, next step is we put the bottom onto the top. Everything's loose here. <laughs> so there's a little triangle here that lines up with the triangle on this side. Then you screw the bottom onto the top. They're one tiny screw. Step 10, prepare the bearing press jig. So you insert one bearing into the larger part, just like that, and one dowel into the smaller part, and you push the two together. So that's what one of them should look like. Repeat the process for the other two, and there's all three of them completed. Next step is to put the roller bearings and dowels into the case. So these ones both just sort of fell right in there. So now is a good time to just feel each one of them and make sure they feel like they're roughly sticking out about the same amount. Now we put the friction pads on the base, reasonably spaced out on the corners. Something like that should be sufficient. So next step is to uh, insert the ball. Well, verify the ball is not too shiny. I'll rub it in my hands. It's not very shiny. Seems like it's rolling fine. Now it's time to plug it in. The ball seems to be tracking perfectly fine. Seeing it on my computer screen, everything's working as intended. So that's the end of my Ploopy Nano assembly video. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments and I'll uh, happily answer them for you. Thanks again and we'll uh, see you in the next one.